you want to find the net force of these two forces acting on the single central object. You may also want to find the equilibrant or the force that places this system in equilibrium. So you set out to sketch a free body diagram which includes one object and the forces acting on that object. First one force, 2,000 newtons at 160 degrees, and its component triangle, the X and Y components, and then the other force with its components all sketched. Then we find the components by multiplying the hypotenuse by the cosine of that 20 degree angle for the X component and the sine of the angle for the Y component. And we do the exact same thing for the other vector to find its replacement components of 964 newtons, 1150 newtons. The vector components replace the original vectors. And we use those replacement vector components to add the vectors together by putting the x's together and the y's together as you see in the chart. Add the x column and the y column and show the net force components. They must be drawn head to tail so slide that 466 to the left. So you have a resultant triangle and from this resultant triangle you can find the length of the hypotenuse and the direction of the net force. The direction is necessary so make sure you find that angle. And this is in the third quadrant, so it's 207 degrees. Your final answer is 1,030 newtons at 207 degrees. The equilibrant is the force that puts this in equilibrium, and it's just exactly the opposite direction, same magnitude, of the force you just found.